guys, welcome back to uh, game two of Combo Smite Livestream Thursdays. Um, the second game tonight is going to be my Magnus 2 Kingmaker list going up against Kassim Xerxes 1 list. Not in theme, because he's a loser. Um, so scorns the sad. Yep. Oh wait, did you uh, paint my redeem? No. Do you need a redeem? Who do I have? I don't understand. Any, any capsule. I want a Dester. A Dester can be redeem. Ugh, Desters. Just as bad as redeem. <laughs> <laughs> redeem? Yeah, whatever. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, without further ado, I'll start the game and start deploying. I want the I want starting roll, yada yada, all that. Okay, let's go. Magnus. He's AD, she stands over here, Orin here. Okay, everything else is AD, so it's on to you. Damn. So man. compared to my Cephalix deployment, that was much shorter. That was 40 seconds. As opposed to... Cephalix deployment minutes. alone took so that's the three renegade, minutes. right? Yes. Renegade. My deployment alone took me three minutes. <laughs> Just absurd. Uh, There's just so many dudes. And part of it was I hadn't played... Um, Texas yet, so it was a bit sketchy on where to put everything, but still, man, that's a lot of a lot of time. And this is within four inches, the game, the continuous fire. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, we both took field cache. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's it's one model. You have to declare it in your maintenance phase. Maintenance phase. You don't declare it. Fuck your mother. <laughs> hmm. I'm just gonna double check that's actually the rule. <laughs> Which one? During your control phase, so same difference. Hmm. Oh, let's do this. Why scorn models? Why? So much overhang. We can't handle the overhang. You get overhang. You get overhang. You get overhang. Beautiful Ferox. They are Ferox, that is true. You are not wrong about them being Ferox. Beautiful Ferox. They're Ferox. Well, back to you. Do you have any AD? Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so just my trenchers. I need to get AD'd. Where do I want more trenchers? Um, that was cheating. <laughs> yeah, ready to play. 
Um, Cast one, did you get two Manzingo? Uh, when did he send it? The question you, is right now. I think now. I saw that go to the combo spike mailbox. I don't get the, if you get that one, do you? Uh, I don't get the combo spike yeah. unless you guys forward it to me. No. Uh, so I'll, I will forward it to cast him. Trenchers, our command, eight. Oh, and do they have Pathfinder? They do not. So yeah, I'm just kind of spreading up my trenchers and stuff. Making sure they're all in. Get some good tears. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes in one unit. It is a 14-man unit. After everything's said and done. Uh, they begin the game dug in. It won't matter. Uh, and Kel... Does he have Pathfinder? Probably. Nope. No, he doesn't. Weird. That's annoying. But Prowl with no Pathfinder? It's the worst. He'll stay there anyway. Um, okay. That's my AD, and then it just goes into me, right? Yep. Alright. Good, Good luck to you, sir. Let's do this shit. Alright. Uh, so, range of this guy? 18. 18. And it can move 5 or 4? Four? 4. So total 22 threat. It's basically already in. Uh, it's a 5 inch AoE? 4 inch, I believe. 4 inch. But it can only shoot once. It can only shoot once, yeah. Okay. These guys can walk 8 and jump 5? Yep. So walk 8, jump 5 is effectively 13, but they have reach. And Xerxes has the march. Oh, so he makes them move 2 faster? Yeah. So they can get to 17 inches away, potentially. Walking, yeah. yeah. Not on charges. Yeah. Charging, they're just... They're still uh, 8. 13. 13, yeah. Jeez, that's pretty far. So 17 if they walk. <laughs> right? Yep. And, or 15? 17, 17 if, if they have the buff on them. Yeah, 17 with the walk buff, and then... Okay. Damn, son. All right, so trenchers will uh, run. So this guy is going to have to spend four to get out. He can run, run eight more. These guys will run. It's so hard to play this. Um, they're going to be in the way of all my jacks. Jack, jack, jacks. Okay, Magnus is going to go, he's going to put up Escort, and he's going to walk up his five. Um, yeah, that's it. Slightly over that way, and then he'll put Gold Dodger on Cal, because why not? Gare. 
And then he's on two, I believe. I'll check it later. <clears throat> uh, free power focus, I think he's going to run. So Monjolé is going to run 12. I'm just going to check escort. Is it speed or movement? Uh, movement. Is it? Rover is going to run to here. This nomad is going to run to here. I can see your uh, boss widget for whatever your, th your thing is. These things? Yeah. So it's a four inch blast on a large base. Probably not going to get a place that's going to not hit any of them. Yeah, so no matter what I do, he'll get blasted. He shouldn't attack. Um, this guy's going to run. Buccaneer. Going to run up here and cover. Renegade's going to run four to here. It has uh, ten more, so five more from here and cover. Orin is going to run to here, and Madeline will walk up and just say, hey, "What's up, guys?" Uh, and Kel will walk up to here. Actually, no, he'll, he'll just run up to the zone. Might as well. I'll see. All right. That was a turn. I don't know. I don't know if I was doing anything good. But uh, this list is a bit of a mystery to me, so I apologize to any people who are Magnus 2 fans. I'm about to butcher the crap out of this list. Uh, Salsa Shrek sending you a Kingmaker list to take a look at. Uh, Domiano Kingmaker. Uh, I do have a Domiano Kingmaker list that I'm pretty happy with. Um, but I'll take a look. I'm open to some stuff. Um, I don't have Steel Light Rifleman, so that's too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, Domiano is probably the best Kingmaker list. Uh, and you play it Dude Swarm. Um, I'm feeling like you probably don't want to pair two Kingmaker lists in a two list format because you have no magical weapons. That's yeah, probably a bad idea. But I'm still I'm still thinking about my mercenary pairings. I don't really know what I want to do. I have an Ostrom list, which is in theme as well, which also is no magical weapons. And uh, Mangler runs for free for some reason. Uh, whatever. Not if you're using it for anything. Yeah, uh, it was power up focused anyway, so. Mm, Xerxes will go. Um, walk up to. Yeah. yeah. Runs a charge without focus, which is pretty sweet. It is a really great rule. I um, I always forget about it. I remember when I'm charging, but I forget about when I'm running. But with power up, it doesn't matter anymore. Power up makes you lazy. Power up makes me lazy. So, let's walk it up to here. Okay. Put in Defender's Ward onto the Ferox. Uh, you could take Gun Mages tall, but why would you? Yeah, seriously. And he's like, gonna push. Who's talking about Gun Mages? Power magic attacks and Kingmaker. Push to the limit on King the Maker. catapults. Yeah, there's no Gun Mages. It's just, it's it's long long gunners, trenchers. Oh, you guys are talking about gun mages and boom hellers. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you can take boom hellers for whatever you, like, if you want to just you give your opponent an easy win. Yeah, I thing. guess. There's lots of points for free, I guess. <laughs> like to pay 20 points down. <laughs> I mean, there's that, they get ambushed in the theme, right? So th there is that. Ambushing boom hellers are intriguing. But they're really nothing more than that to me. Um, they're, the Moon Hellers are just, are just bad. They, they went down to speed 5. Uh, they lost all of the good stuff that they had for defensive tech. And, and they got a lesser version of that defensive tech. Iberian's going to run. Um, I'm really not interested in running Moon Hellers at all. They, they are quite bad. Indeed. I sold my Boom Hellers a year ago and haven't looked back. <laughs> well, you didn't like them in Mark 2, though. And they were amazing in Mark 2. You were going to run. run. Oh, they're right, Mark 2. Facing directly forward. You're wrong. 
Agonizer is going to screen minus two to strength and run. Sentry is going to run to here. Face to face with the objective. <coughs> Beast handlers are going to walk. They just rely on sight. Yep. You can go there, and you can go there. And they will whip these two off. This catapult is now going to advance. Here, to here, to B to B. And he can walk to here, he can walk to here. Still only walks on his side like it's small, very small, right? Yep, man size. Yeah. And he will sling a shot at that guy. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, box cars the hit, I'm assuming. Miss. Oh, miss. You beat direction black. One. Direction one, two, two inches. So the right here, uh, four inch away. Looks like you're going to get some good, good work out of this. Nom, 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 nom. Four inch? Yep. Um, it hits all four of these guys. Whoops. Yeah. So it is a POW 8. POW 8, so uh, armor is 13. I think these two have boxes. Okay, well, starting on the guy on the ground, nothing. The, the guy beside him to the right, nothing. Single wound guy. Armor 13, so the yeah. 5? Did. They have tough. Oh, they have tough. Nope. And that guy back there, 9 wolves, for a check. Tough bitches. Tough. rolls on fire. I made a bunch of them this this today. I've been doing okay. Can't complain about tough rolls so far. I lost my trench. Who knows? Uh, my ferox can I don't know advance. <clears throat> How are we treating this thing? It's an, that's an obstruction. obstruction. So you can't walk through it. You can jump over it. Hmm. To jump or not to jump? That is the main question. <coughs> so he goes to speed 7, so he'd have a 12 inch threat. Hmm? I don't think it's really a question. Hmm. It's according to Caston's question. Vine. He even said that. Yeah. It's true. I specifically stated it. And, oh, I should check their command. The Ferox are command nine. So they are good. And he can walk over to here. And then he'll just jump. Like Sounds so. fine. <coughs> and then Radim will prance over to. Green looks like he just got shittier. <laughs> is it just me? Or does Redeem suddenly look shittier than he used to? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then. Sure does. That doesn't look like Redeem. Yeah, Redeem looks pretty shitty. That's like a proxy. That's, uh, <laughs> we'll break those that's not allowed in SR 2017. <laughs> but tough on the Ferox. Okay. And uh, that is my turn. Okay. Good times. I think this gets his focus back. Casualties. Da -na -na -na. Power up. So much power. Up. Yep. Huh. So um, 
Um, could do some silly things. But it's kind of silly. <laughs> like, I'm not sure this is actually a good idea. It's just a thing I can do. Looks like he's in. Uh, has for the, for the, the one in shield. Ah, uh, okay. Um, do I really want to throw away some nomads, though? He's definitely in. Uh, not with an 11, no. Um, do you have any anti-spell tech on him? Nope. You have the agonize behind him? Agonize behind him. He went, no, he went minus strength? Yeah. And it's within 8, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, within 8. Okay. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, if I Calamity him, it just takes that away. I'm still uh, PS18 on armor 21, mm -hmm. which probably doesn't kill you. And then I definitely lose my Mangler. Doesn't seem great. Just throw away your Dax. You don't need him. He's steady all that, too. Ferrex is steady as well? Um, Redeem is 1317. Redeem is 1317. Okay. And he gives the Ferox dodge. Yep, yeah, I knew, I knew that. Um, hmm. Okay, allocations. I feel like that's a huge waste of resources to send a nomad off like that. And it'll be out of my control for like the rest of the game. <laughs> um, Can't be all your control if he's dead. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> um, the Mangler, though, oh, if I can land the Calamity, that seems not too bad. Defense 10 on Tibbers? Uh, I think he's 11, 10. Yeah, defense 10. Doesn't seem too bad. Um, calamity is a range what? Come on, baby. Range 10. I just have to get... The renegade to here, which isn't really an issue. So I think we'll go for that. Uh, so I'm going to allocate dose to fill him up. Um, did we ask about getting somebody else? I, mean, uh, somebody I, I have not. Room? I have not. I have you not. guys want to be posted on the suit page? Sure. Or yeah. Or like London page, maybe. I'll go for it. Oh, one upkeep escort, obviously. Um, do I want the bullet dodger? Oh shit. Man, focus six sucks. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have one to boost my calamity, which is super stressful. Um, no, no, no. If only I could take Silas in this list, right? Normally, if I was playing out of theme, I would have Silas in this list. Oh, he's not allowed in it? Yeah. I, I'm actually kind of wondering if I'd prefer to play Magnus 2 out of theme. Anybody that has a good Magnus 2 out of theme list, uh, send it my way. Jack Heavy, pre preferably. Um, because I'm curious. Um, because I'm not loving this list right now. But it could just be the matchup. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. What to do? Yeah, trencher's good. 
Char do? No. No walking garden. There's some shooting. Trencher shooting isn't bad. Do a bunch of two man pods. Uh, sentry is shield guard. Kitchen, remember that. I'll take one of my shots for sure. But that's cool. That's cool, guys. Okay, so allocated two. Magnus is on three. Uh, yeah, he's on three. And one for upkeeping escort. Bullet dodger drops because I don't have a choice. All right, um, so trenchers have to go first. Checking some rules, sorry for the silence. They have CRA, got it. But the Grenadiers do not have CRA. Okay. Alright, so trenches will go. This guy's going to sack his action to move. No one else has to do anything. Um, so let's move up and take some shots. Actually, he'll aim because he's within 11, that guy. Mm -hmm. He'll aim. I use some dick butt tokens for aiming. He'll aim. Oh, wait. No, the range 10, not range 11. So they're going to move. <laughs> the range 10, power 11. He'll, he'll still aim. Because he is range 14. Um, but yeah, these guys get to move up. Oh, they're going to get cautious advance so they can move up and uh, dig in. Then <laughs> For lose, all that matters. Lose the dig in when they shoot. When they get engaged, yeah. No, they, they don't lose it. They keep it. They oh. only lose it when they get, when they yeah, get engaged. To engaged. It's, uh, it's a thing. You can't spread out too much because Command 8. Um, gonna walk further up. Just gonna hang out here. Oops. Oh, you're gonna love it. Um, Grenadier. Let me get out of the way. Walk up here. He forfeited his action, so he's just gonna walk. This guy, two to here, four to here. So let's do some stuff. Okay. Um, this guy had the sentry. Mm -hmm. So uh, four uh, rats. I think they're all rats six. Rats six. Yes. So four to hit that guy, hits him. It's a three inch AOE, does pow 10 damage to everything. Oh, so yeah. pow 10, pow 10. So uh, dice off seven on the Ferox, nothing, and uh, pow ten on the Cowfold is a total of seventeen. Mm, Figured uh, pow ten on the Sentry I think can't wound you. Nope. It's off eleven. Oh, twelve can wound you. Uh, nope. Yeah, box guys can wound. And objective cannot be wounded yet. Okay, she's gone. Um, Oh, that was they're supposed to be base to base with the sentry. Well, that doesn't work. You, you move this guy first, and then you move this guy. So, I mean, you couldn't have planned that. Oh. And he's definitely not there, so I'm not going to give you that one. You'd have to have proxied it out or something first, and you didn't. And, and, he's, and there's like a, there's actually a huge gap there. <laughs> no, it's finagling, but it's um, fine. It's probably going to be. You, you never measured it, right? At least I didn't see you measure it. Mm, I thought I put that in as like you can move into there, but. I don't know. 
Doesn't matter. Go for um, it. Sorry, I, I, I don't remember you declaring it. I, I, you might have, but I don't remember. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Um, so, uh, what is the defense on your careful? 12 or 13? 13. 13. Who's shot's going to get on it? Just three. Let's, uh, these three guys are just going to shoot the catapult one at a time. So, uh, sevens to hit, right? You said 13? Yep. So, that'll hit. So, power 11. Uh, shield guard that one. Okay. Uh, so, dice off uh, 10. Nothing. Nothing. Second guy hits it. Power 11. Uh, total 14. Yes. And last guy uh, hits it. Just. Snake eyes. Hits it. So that was those three and the grenadier. Um, this guy and that guy's out of range of everything. Smart move. Uh, let's see here. Defense uh, with um, uh, they go up to 14? 15. 15. So if I see a writing mean 8, meaning 7s. Okay, uh, these two. Actually, he's the officer, and so he's a. I think he's a seven. I'll check that because I don't. I've never actually played Trencher. The officer is a seven. So from this guy, these two are gonna do a six CRA onto him. Um, so there are nine needing a six. Nope. <laughs> no dodge. Do I? Sure. Why not? Pitching. Okay. Um, hey, no, this guy's in range. <laughs> uh, so, this guy and this guy on that guy. They need sevens. Misses. Engage. Okay. And then these three um, on this one. So, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, he, that's uh, he's gonna be out of range for that one. So they'll go on this guy. Uh, so six goes up to nine. So he's a six. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, so power eleven goes to power fourteen. On your nineteen. Nineteen. Dice off five. Come on. Yes. No. Nothing. Okay. Um, and they're all bugging. Oh, sniper. Aimed, he's just gonna shoot that guy. Aims to an eight. Or which one's the sniper? This one. Oh, which one's the grenadier? This one and this one. Okay. Um, eight plus seven is gonna hit. Uh, this on that one. Guy. Yep. Uh, and stick point. One point. I think it's everyone. Yeah, it's four boxes. Okay, um, Renegade's gonna run. To within ten of tippers. <clears throat> uh, Magnus activate. Let's just double check. Oh, you want to check it there? Oh no, I just want to double check this quick. Oh. Yeah, I think I put him just out of eleven. His threat's twelve though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, was That's that so were you trying to stay out of threat range? Is that uh, no, I, I put 11, so... Okay. Uh, Magnus is moving up to here. He's going to cast Calamity through the Arc Node onto Tibbers. Um, I'm a 6 on your 10. Yep. Uh, I hate doing this kind of thing. I always boost. It hits. Okay, so you're Calamity. So you're uh, uh, pl minus... So I'm, I'm plus 2 to hit and damage against you. Crash 2 to hit on damage. Or whatever. No, minus 2 defense and error. Same difference. Okay. Um, Cal is just going to aim at Tibbers uh, and shoot twice. So first shot, uh, he aims to a 10, he's aiming at snakes, hits, 3 to 5. Three to nine, five. And second shot, not snakes, 3 to 5. Okay. okay. Uh, did you guys see something that Rose posted in, on Facebook? What thing? No. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw it, Rose. 
uh, I'm not sure, posted on Facebook, like recently, today? Yeah. Didn't at Facebook post, but I haven't seen anything. That's not going to work. Um... I'm just thinking, I'm wondering if I could do anything interesting with the Orin. Orin. Uh, yeah. You can cancel out the spell that you just cast. <laughs> <laughs> that's just one. But he has his three, three power tokens, I'll use corpses for that. Or I'll use a die. I'll never, I'll never figure out what that's for. Um, okay, so do I want to try to get Orin in there to do some work? What's his speed? Is it six or five? That's important. Oh, it takes some time, really. Six. So I could move him up. I need a small base proxy. Smart branch. Jobber. Move him up to here. Get within ten. And does it screw over my charge line? Probably yes. It let me get. Actually, no, it's not probably fine. Actually, I can move 10. Well, well, that's your line right there, so should be fine. Um, oh, another example here. I'm currently cheating, according to SteamWorld 2017, because I have two proxy bases on the table. I guess I could remove this with the laser line down, and I'm not cheating anymore. <laughs> that's one measurement. If that's one measurement, um, then you're fine. Oh, are you allowed to have multiple bases in one measurement? Yeah. That's not what if I understand. you're doing one measurement, you're fine. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be in. Although I actually want to contest your zone, so I don't like that anyway. Um, so Orin can't go there. He could. No, he can't go there either. And it's strength 10. So he'd have to get pretty damn close. I just thought it'd be nice to bounce some other creeps into your support. Creeps. Well, actually... Looking at it, kind of bounce, bounce. We go, yeah, we go him, him. So I mean, but still, getting a boosted shot into the uh, Ragonizer would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, fuck it, let's do that. So this, this guy's just gonna walk out of the way. Uh, he's gonna walk up to the place I measured to. He's gonna fire off his um, bouncing electric electric thing. Uh, he's a magic seven on tippers. Hits. Um, bounces two, D3, one, Good just the yeah. Okay, so POW 10 on Tibbers is off 11, nothing, and uh, POW off 9 on Gladiator is nothing. So that was a waste. Okay, but then he's going to charge for free okay. to the place we talked about. He charges for free. Yeah, and then I'm going to just do that. Aggressive. So aggressive. So aggressive. Okay, so uh, he is a met six on your defense eight, effectively. Snake eyes. And six. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the worst one. I was really stressed out. Uh, 17. Uh, sorry, I'm 15 on your 19. So dice off four. Are you sure? Oh, uh, sorry. No, I'm you, have, you have a chain weapon, right? Oh, I have. I do have a chain weapon. Thank you, sir. You you totally were not going to remind me of that either. Um, yes, it is a power 18 chain weapon. So dice off one. Um, so I ignore your shield. You're 19. Um, I'm minus two strength though, so I'm a 16 effectively on your 17. 17. So off one. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Okay, this is gonna happen probably. Off one is uh, nine to the five. Anyone says you should play King three two to make it easier? I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> uh, I have no my my one inch melee is too short, so I can't do that one. So I'll buy an attack. And snakes. It's. And uh, dice off one it is four to one. That's not very good. Buy an attack. Not snakes. Dice off one. Hey, that's better. Uh, ten to the two. Ten to the two. Got three boxes left. Last one. Come on. Snake eyes. No. <laughs> and uh, dice off one is enough. Ooh. <clears throat> it wouldn't have been without Kel, though. <laughs> Kel is a boss. Well, actually, no, it actually would have been. Yeah, because the five 
Uh, I, I rolled a five and a six, I think, for my damage. For this the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it would have been enough. It would have been enough, yeah. Well, it's still a good story, so fuck you. <laughs> good story, uh, bro. Good story. Okay, Madeline's going to move up and say, Parlay! Uh, and the Buccaneer is going to move up just for shits. It'll run, let's say. Uh, this Nomad is going to... I can't run to there. <laughs> God damn it, Trenchers. Bunch of assholes. Uh, it's going to stay here, and this Nomad will... God damn it. Trenchers. <coughs> They'll just run to here, I guess. Wow, I'm getting jammed out. Um, okay. Clock over to you. Uh, I score two points, and you score one point. Alright, it's my second turn right now. Oh, sorry, that was my second turn. Yeah, yeah never mind. No scoring yet. I was getting ahead of myself. Ahead. For some reason, I thought that it was something else. So we should my bad. Keys. Uh, I'll spend one up. Keep. So report. taking Tibbers like that is pretty sweet. So that's just a mistake in your part. You you thought yeah. you were out of threat. Is that yeah, what I, mean? I, I think I thought I measured 12, but I must have measured 11. Yeah, okay. That, that, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, that's that's uh, just like kind of like a, just a brain I, fart, really. Like, yeah. uh, you, like you, you thought you knew what you were doing. A game. Um, uh, well, I think I still have a game. Yeah, here. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. Honestly, your list can kill my entire lists. Like, two, two of your models can kill my entire list on feet turn, so... <laughs> It's dirty. Grab that just for now. So my trenchers are dug in, but I killed your only gun. So there's that. The only thing I would have been <laughs> able to do is your me and the blast is just light a bunch on fire. Uh, that's true. Okay. It's just model, right? So you can you can do it for a, a gun crew. The, yeah. the objective. Yeah, just do it's, it for the. It's, like, it's not war beast or anything, right? It's oh. uh, it's just any friendly model. Mm -hmm. I, I think it is. Cool cash. Green model. Choose one friendly faction model. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it'd be like, Ksh. this would have been nice though. Oh yeah, a little bit dirty. <laughs> I mean, assuming you hit them, I could deviate and hit them. Uh, maybe, maybe. No damage, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flames. That's true. And yeah, and the fire would do tons of work. Hmm. trying to stay, get three inches and stay in the zone? Or no, I'm just trying to see if I can get three inches being like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, so yeah, that's more than three inches. This and this. I still spent like an ungodly amount of time on that turn, by the way. Yeah, that, that yeah, was like, it was like 25 minutes. That's a lot. It's a lot. But like, yeah, no, I was in the tank for a bit, definitely. I was. Uh, I, and it was about stupid things, too. I was in the tank for maybe five minutes thinking about whether or not to move Orin up to do some stupid bullshit. Which is the kind of thing not I need to... Worth a while. No, not at all. Um, I mean, if I had killed the, uh, the Agonizer, it would have been pretty sweet. But... Uh, um, probably not worth the actual uh, time in, in a real game. I think they're doing just over time. Yeah, I can't find uh, Willer's Adamus with uh, the comment. But it's not showing. What are you talking about? I'm going to share it with someone. I'll find it. Uh oh, look at uh, posts on page, like posts from users. It's like on the sidebar. Scroll over. This thing. This thing here, the bottom bar, and scroll over. It's like on the web page. What, what you, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Scroll over and then scroll down. And there's visitor posts. That's 
so it was probably in there. Yeah, I just looked in the notifications and it shows all the vehicles there, and it's not there. No, it's not. Oh, okay, I don't know. These cameras will activate. Okay. So, Enrage Gladiator. Mm -hmm. Defense 10 on uh, It's low anyway. I think it might be 11. It's 11. Hey, Reben. Alright, so Gladiator will go. We will charge him here. We'll frizzle. For a freeze. Just, yeah, base is fine. Because of terrain. And uh, start with the War Gauntlet. Right, needs a 5. 8 hits. How 18? Actually, let me double check. Yeah, how 18. It's got a Yuling for Magnus, who's R21. Ah, uh, so dice off. 3 is 5 to the 6. Uh, second War Gauntlet. Hits with 7. Yep. So dice off. 3 is 4 to the 1. Tusks. 7 hits. Um, you just need five to hit, right? Yeah, or six. Boost damage. Okay. Um, this is based off four. Ew. Three to the five. Okay. By a fist. Okay. Hits. Five hits. Dice off three. Is five, five to the four. four. Cortex and right arm are out, so that's the important stuff. Hey, uh, snake eyes! Snakes. But uh, the Mangler is not really happy with that. Uh, he looks like this now. Uh, Cortex and right arm are out. And that guy can't get Pathfinder, so I'm good. Nope. Here's our defense, 13. Mm. 17. Yes, range. <laughs> <laughs> for all those guns you have. 17 for all those guns you have. All, Everywhere. All those guns. All thy guns. <laughs> Actually, Xerxes does have nuke, doesn't he? No. No, really? No nuke even? No nukes. Oh, wow. So you're literally out of guns. What about uh, Bull Breakers? Some spell? Azot spell? He has influence. Okay. So that's still uh, actually that is affected by cover, so. Mm -hmm. That matters a ton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's going to go to town? Take his wedge? Ch Chinatown. What you considering? I'm seeing how much I want to commit over here. Okay. I'm also thinking Xerxes could go right to there. Finish that Mangler off? Yep. It certainly, I don't think it'd be very difficult for him to do. Let's do. Are you popping your feet? Nope. I didn't think so. He is going to charge to here. Yep. He's going to do a combo smite. <clears throat> Sounds good. Mad eight. Three hits. Okay. Uh, pow. Pow twenty. Whew. Um. So. Uh, <laughs> the 
a soft one, I think. Why are you three inches away from him? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can make it, um, but... <laughs> no, I used the wrong side of the <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, so power 20 is off one. So, that's a lot. That is... Th uh, so, ten. ten, nine points to the two. Nine to the two? Yeah. Oh, wait, we said dice. Yeah, dice off dice one. Dice off one? Yeah. yeah. So, leaves him on one. Slams on d6? Uh, yeah. D6. And it'll be half distance because he's bigger than you. Yeah. But so half inch. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but he's knocked down. Knock her down. Knocked down everything out except for one moving box, so it's still pretty bad for me. <laughs> he ain't happy. No. Commenting on the chat? Any questions for us? Not this far, they're just talking about that. Is everyone just bitching about the whole boxing thing? No. Um, <laughs> just talking about it, really. No one's been too bitchy about it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of uh, hyperbole on the CID forms about the whole measurement thing. But, uh, I mean, the sky isn't falling. It's It doesn't yeah. seem like, you know, most people, I think, see it as a negative change. These guys will advance. But we'll see how it pans out after some CID. Sky. I guess they can one mode. Yep. <laughs> the one cyber. I'll go here. Okay. And then they will jump. Jumping happens after they move? Yep. Really? Yep. I had no idea. Is that like a new ruling? No, it's always been uh, after their they advance.
jump. Alrighty, I'll start with this guy. He'll do his mount on your jack in okay. the back. Yeah, in the back it's like armor. Uh, sorry, it's defense eight. eight. <laughs> That's so it's nomad hits. one. And they don't get unyielding if they're... They like no unyielding and no buckbusters armor 18. Armor 18 against my pal 12, boosted because it pounced. Eight. Six. It is four, four to the six. six. Um, I'll do my lance potentially. Dice off six. Nah, I'll just do. Now nah, I'll do the lance on the. Okay, trencher. so defense eleven. So five to hit. Hits. Yep. Um, Top twelve. It's auto dead. It's tough. Tops. And then. Go with this guy. He'll okay. do his. Pounce attack on him. Okay. Miss. Do my lance on. Sorry, this guy. Okay. That Six, will hit. Seven, so 13. Tough. Those tough checks don't. I've been doing well on tough checks. Him. He will do his mount. He's going to be a 20. He'll be a 21. 21. 19 for the buckler, 21 for engaged. So I'll do my pounce on the grenade. Grin or the okay, sniper. So it. I, the sniper does not have boxes, so uh, what's the power? Uh, 12. Uh, I'll kill some. Tough! Jeez. I'll do my uh, lance on him, so just auto dead. Auto dead. I'm going to get some off the charts tough checks today. Yeah. I take no credit. Uh, I'll do this guy mount on the Nomad. Okay. Or not the Nomad, the Renegade. Yeah. Uh, I think it's defense is 13. I think that hits though, for sure, uh, regardless. Uh, it's, it, oh, it's, it's still 11. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, so armor is uh, 19. 19, so dice offset. It is 5 to the 2. I Damn. will do my lance rolls. on Orin. Okay. His defense is higher. Miss. 13. And uh, this guy right here will do his mount on the guy in front of him. Uh, six and will uh, miss. Uh, miss, yeah. 12. Lance. Hits. Bell hit. And tough check. They will repo. As you do. Actually, I'll just let me reach. I'll just keep him back here. Dead? Okay. Is he in melee with this guy or not? Yeah. And this guy. If you can. This guy only has one inch? Uh, yep. They have one inch as well, though. So they're, you're in there. Yeah. Nomad has what? Half inch? Uh, sorry? Or, or renegade? Or renegade, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it's an inch. It is indeed. Back like that. Okay. And uh, the leader will just shimmy over a bit like so. That's them. Rope breaker will go right here. He will put a tough on them. going to run. So it goes 
Yeah. This guy's actually out, right? This is Grant? Yeah, Titan. He's out, you're out, right? I figured that you were just saying yes with that guy. Yeah. Sentry is going to run a couple inches there. A couple inches here. And then we can do two more. And we'll go to the right. Steady? Yep. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure he does. Yep. Okay. Good to dear. Agonizer wall. Yeah, why not? So he's going to walk over to here. And scream minus two, two. Yeah. I think that is my turn. So I get one point for that song. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. One point for scorn, please, Daryl. Skiorn. Skiorn. Yeah. Um, right. Um, what do I want to do? So, power up. Power up. What turn are you guys on? I don't know. Turn top of three. Power up. Power up. Power up. And no power for you because your protect is out, you son of a bitch. He's still hit. So, uh, upkeeping escort. So, I guess it's on five. Now, do I want to allocate stuff? Mm -hmm. Derricks are fucking hard to deal with. <laughs> um, Where's Tom in the saddle that you need? God damn it, man. Buccaneers suck. Why does anyone play Buccaneers? <laughs> Why does anyone play Buccaneers? They are garbage. Uh, Matt 5. That doesn't help me against the pistons. Um, I'm gonna try it. Uh, okay, um, allocation. That's what I'm thinking of right now. What do I want to allocate? Um, I would like to put a bunch of damage to this guy to get that started. But uh, I feel like this Ferox is really wrecking my plans as far as I was concerned. Wreck it, wreck it, wreck it. Um, <clears throat> how can I deal with this fucker? Rover could kill him, but then I don't get my rover shot. That, that kind of sucks. Magnus can't get in there until they go first. I mean, I could just do some trench or CMAs into it, but that seems pretty bad. Two CMAs. I think the like power is like it's like garbage, like nine. That's not gonna do shit. Yeah, the bayonets are nine. They powerful charge. You get eleven on charges, but it's still pretty bad. Um, Orin could just like. Go in there and hit him with a stick and boost his damage. He's also a POW 9, though, so that's horrible. Trenchers <laughs> have CMAs? Oh, maybe they don't. I they, have, they have CRAs. Uh, you're right, yeah, no CMAs. I wonder if I've been cheating about that. Uh, I haven't played them very many times, so. Um, 
Okay. What should I do? How can I unlock this puddle? I guess Magnus could try and spray him. But that's not great. It's only up half 12 on your armor 19. Uh, yeah. And that guy, that's the wounded one. This is true. Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get... I mean, I guess the robot could just walk out um, and take some damage. Doesn't really care about that too much. Uh, 23. But there's too much shit in the way. <laughs> I can't walk to somewhere where I can actually shoot. I want to shoot. Um, I don't think. Walk. Let's see where I can walk to. Walk three to there. And I can walk two more to here. Would that be in range? No. It's close though. Maybe if I tighten that up a bit. So two to there. And then uh, see this is the kind of thing that I'm spending way too much time thinking about. Two to there. And then one to here. I guess I could go with one first to cut some more corners. Yeah, or I could just go first. Because this guy's closer to him than the mangler. Looks like it to me. Let's see. Doesn't mean they're range. And he's closer to him. Yeah. Okay. So, Orin. Oh, actually, he's closer to this guy. Yeah, no, no. I just, if I shoot this guy, though, it'll go bounce, bounce. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I need to allocate stuff. So, I'm going to. Um, oh, you should have the power up. It's got five. Oh, I can clam gun. That'd be actually really good. But that's a, a damage. That's that's a high roll. I can do it after he goes. And then that would be super good. They're all engaged with somebody. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. So I'll save three for Calamity. I definitely want to boost, so I only have one to allocate. Doesn't seem great. <laughs> um, oh, also Magnus will be like way up front. <laughs> if I do this. Um, whatever, let's do it. Uh... So I want to allocate. I will allocate it. Two. Mm -hmm. This guy. He gets it. He's awesome. Okay. Now that that's all done, uh, Oren's going to go. He's going to move over. Oh, he's fucking engaged, isn't he? I guess so. Yeah. Well, that bones everything. Um, you're about six. Mm -hmm. Go up to eight, needing a five to kill him. Power 12. Boosted power 12. I mean, it basically auto kills him. Um, do I want to give up more for this reason? Hmm. Oh, it's a spell. So I can just do it this way instead. Uh, he can walk up to here. Uh, oh, he's knocked down. Sweet. Okay, perfect. So then he's going to cast a spell, lightning thing, into that dude. That's a 13. Orin is a 7, needing a 6. He's going to use one of his three power tokens to boost. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that's going to hit mm -hmm. with an eight. Uh, so it's going to leap three times. Once, of course. A D3, rather, but it's a once. It, it's <laughs> so just, yeah, a pow on him, so he's just dead. And then on the gladiator. Dice off nine. Dice off nine. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to waste boosts on it. <clears throat> uh, but it clears out the zone, which is nice. And Kel is going to pop the gladiator twice. Uh, Angle snakes to hit him. Not snakes, three or five. Second shot. Not snakes, three or five. <clears throat> okay. Rover. Let's go and remeasure this thing. So two inches to get to here. Two more inches. Hold one inch. One inch gets me to here. Another inch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and another inch. Making sure I'm not doing that thing. Yeah. And does that give me in time? Because if it doesn't, then I'm not going to fucking do this bullshit. Okay. It does. Okay, so take a reach. Wow. Uh, you hit. Surprisingly. Oh, don't know. Uh, armor 23, uh, sorry, armor 22. Place off 10. Armor 22. So one to one. How does he get the armor 22? Shield and then, uh, and then. He would lose both of those walking out of. Well, he's still in, in. If you're hitting me, in melee. So Kang's on the melee. Oh, you'd lose your shield, though. Are you sure? Because you'd be facing back. I'd always get the back straight the bonus. Can you pass the bomb? I just want to check, because uh, not that I don't necessarily believe it, but I just don't actually, un I don't know for sure, because I'm just sketchy with Mark III stuff. So good. So I'd like to uh, to clarify this. Shield. This weapon is a shield. It gives the model a cumulative plus two armor bonus, for example, blah, blah, blah. When it does not gain the bonus, bottle up is crippled, or when resolving damage, it originates in its back arc. So it's not my back arc. Um, what do back strikes say? No, actually, not back strikes, free strikes. But I think you actually do still have to be in my back arc, but let's just check this. Uh, sorry, guys, doing some rules stuff because rules are important, kind of. Oh, and if you're walking out of my melee, well, this depends on the free strike rule. Actually. Why? Because you have to be engaging me, but I don't think... Oh, you're right. I do lose unyielding, because I only have one inch melee. Yeah. You... yeah, so I do lose un I do lose unyielding, that's for sure. Um, I mean, cause I didn't even have it, because I only have one inch melee. One inch. I forgot about that. Well, this would change maybe what you might do to free strikes. Free, free, free. Strike 44. Treat it as being in the back arc, so it does ignore it. So armor is uh, 18. Off six. Off six. So that I'm is still gonna do it. five to one. Five to one. I'm fine with that. Takes a little bit of gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, you don't get any yielding unless you're engaging. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We, 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 we found it. We, we got it. All right, so he goes here. Uh, and shooting the gladiator. Needing a five. Got it. I was 14, boosting damage with whatever's focus one. Uh, maybe it's this one. <laughs> uh, so power 14 is on uh, 19. So off five. Uh, that is five to the four. Five to the four. Okay. Um, 
Magnus is going to charge. Okay. Um, let's see. I would check his melee weapons. Uh, I think he has like one half inch and one one inch. Yep. Um, oh, armor piercing. So I'll just get within the one. And I'll do my armor piercing. Um, and that's seven, eight to hit. But I'm going to cast Calamity and boost to hit first. Uh, so nine six hundred seventeen needs a nine. No, uh, six hundred seven. No, you uh, fifteen. Yeah, needs a nine. Got it. And then my mat seven, uh, effective nine. Um, need a six to hit. Need a six to hit. <laughs> Diage. Diage. Just out of one inch. Okay. I'm out of focus anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay. That was for really sad. Um, Magnus is going to feet. Mm -hmm. And you cannot go towards this table edge or this table edge. Okay. So that's everybody except for him and like that beast handler <laughs> uh, sorry not quite that much those four beast handlers are immune and that's it is the clock still bars oh uh, yeah it is thanks guys Whew, i needed that cheat to win cheat to win um okay so that super sucks But at least you're calamity, so I'm basically just canceling out Defender's Ward, Defender so you're just 13 17 again. Let's yep. just say that works. Hmm. How to do this? Hmm. Uh, somebody in the in the Facebook thread, not Facebook thread, the uh, CID thread is talking about how they're trying to limit the the amount of proxies and measurement on the board. Yeah. Um, they make a good point. I'm going to pause it because I've eaten minutes. The, uh, what they're telling us not to do is precisely what they tell judges to do to resolve movement disputes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, not not quite because I mean, what, they don't want people just having stuff all over the board. No, they don't want you to do that. It's never about the entire movement. board. Yeah. Right? So. Which is sort of their point, but it's, it's an idea. Um, I don't know. I mean, if I mean, I don't know. I haven't been reading the boards, but what you were telling me is not what that is. You were, you were telling me they are letting you use multiple bases to plan. Yeah, you do one one measurement. So that's what judges do. It's the same thing. Yeah. So that's not what that that's not what you just told me. No, no, it's what they let judges do, but for one movement. What PP doesn't want you to do is do it for every fucking unit model on the board and leave it all out there. Yeah, but you can still do it once. Well, yeah, once for each unit, okay. which well, is fine. Up. Anyway, uh, uh, whatever. Back in. Um, so Magnus is done, feed it up. Um, Ooh, tomorrow, I'll lock up Google and parlay. DNC. Divide and conquer. Parlay. <coughs> um, Sean shares will go. Uh, forfeit action. And forfeit movement. <sighs> this guy came up to here. Oh, sorry, can't go back there. So like that. Yeah. Trying to box them in a bit. Um, was it your intention to engage this guy? Because it doesn't look like you are. Oh. I don't think I could have gotten him anyway. Maybe, it, maybe not. I don't know. Um, he's sacking 
action. Action. He's just gonna. I don't yet. <laughs> he moved to there. I guess I should probably put their arcs in reasonable places. Uh, he is going to. So he wants to walk up to here, I think. He wants to go to here. Close and gone. This guy is going to swing. He's going to turn your spear a bit. So you said you're going to be more than an inch away, but I guess that doesn't mean I can necessarily hit there because I have 30 millimeter base. Yeah. So he's just going to swing as far as he can, though, for there. Mm -hmm. um, this guy is going to walk. Uh, let's go see this guy's melee. He's good. good. So this guy, you were facing forward, right? Yeah. So he's going to move just to the edge here, gauging you. He's going to move in to here. Just want to check the Buccaneer has a two inch. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even sure he can get there, but uh, this guy is just going to walk into here. Who's this facing? Okay. Um, who hasn't moved? He can't move. I think everyone else is probably good. Okay, so. Seven, uh, seven hit? Yeah, seven hit. Hits him. Power is, uh, nine on your, on your... 17. 17. Also off uh, 8. Off eight. Nothing. Second guy. That's probably going to miss. Let's roll six. Uh, uh -oh. Miss. Nope. Touch. So actually a dodge right now with your feet I can't go to You can't this. advance this way or that way. that way. So you cannot go that way at all. Yeah, so your guys are basically base to base. Oh, okay so then yeah, this yeah, option. I can That's just cool. go there. Yeah, yeah lucky. Uh, last attack. Hits you and off eight. Uh is eight. That's one thing we didn't do that we forgot in our games that you can just move through your objective. You can move oh, through. Oh yeah, it. I did forget that. Yeah. I totally forgot that. Model, you can just move through. Yeah, oh, I did totally, totally, I totally, I totally, I totally forgot that. This is going to come handy right now. You can see through um, it, move through it. It doesn't matter. All right, uh, this guy will just go into his. Uh, that'll hit. And off eight. Nothing. Um, this guy. Nothing. All right. Uh, attacking. Five misses. Can you do can you actually dodge anywhere? Do you want me to stop for this stuff? No, I can't. Okay. I can't. This dodge. guy okay. hits him off eight. Nothing. This guy uh, actually is back arc. So uh, six five will hit. Five. I need sevens in the front, right? Yeah. You're thirteen on the six. You're six. Yeah. Off eight is nothing. Jeez. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Maybe one get in the pot. Misses, yeah, in front arc, and last guy hits, and off eight. There's nothing. Wow, these are like these are epically bad rolls. Uh, this guy here is just gonna throw at the will breaker. Six needing a seven. That'll hit. Pow ten. Dice off three. Two points. Okay, that's the trenchers. Uh, Buccaneer is going to walk up to here. Um, I don't think my iPod died. It's a Mat 5, though, <laughs> which is terrible. Um, needing a 8 to hit you. Mm -hmm. But if I hit you, the power is so low on it that it won't matter. Which model is that? Buccaneer? Yeah. Yeah, he's Mat 5. Uh, what's his power? 
On his spear, he is pow 12. Pow 12. So dice off five. And he's full, he's full, full boxes? Yeah. So hitting you doesn't really matter because um, I can't kill you reliably. So I'm just going to raw dog a five. Or an eight, rather. Oh. Hey, hits it. Boost damage. Uh, off uh, five, we said? Yep. Five boxes. Tough check. Tough check. Ah, yes. Son of a cock. Okay. Um, this guy's going to walk to here. Buckler on him. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Matt, six on your defense. 13 to seven to hit. I'm going to roll it. Nope. Uh, axe or sword on him. Mm -hmm. Nope. God damn it. By uh, sword. Come on. I need two, baby. I need two. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hits. How 18 is plus one. That'll be enough. Yep. Not tough. And by a sword on the other guy. That'll miss. Can you dodge them? All right. Uh, this guy is just going to go to here. Two within one. And uh, boost the sword. Needing a <laughs> seven. Hits you. Uh, Mike Hammond. How 18. Said he should get more... Uh Plus one. More respect because he got two Casm shirts and two Casm money. He said he gets less respect because nope. of that. Who has two Casm shirts? Mike Hammond. Who isn't going? Damn. Oh, just the Mangler. <laughs> um, Mangler will just uh, forfeit and move him to stand up. And he's going to do uh, an attack with his gimped arm on the Gladiator. Um, needing a four. No. <laughs> um, gimpy gimp. Who else isn't going? Um, no more uh, scenario points scored, huh? No. Uh, I'm just ending my turn and I'm scoring one, and okay. Cassim's scoring one as well. So you're okay. Both going up. And it's on you. Not to me. You're doing better on clock. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I did less. I, I, like, see, here, here's the difference. With the Thexus game, I didn't. I wasn't in the tank. I was just doing so many activations, some of which may not have been necessary, that it took me forever. In this in this turn, I took too long because I suck, and I was in the tank too much. That's different. Okay. Yeah. Reef one off the I, I, didn't, I didn't hardly got anything done, but I was thinking. Spend that so up. Keep that defenders ward. Thresholds. See, so gladiator. We'll start with you. Why don't you have thresholds right on here? Threshold nine, so I'm going to go six around there. He's good. Loves it. Sentry should be good. Six or under? Or no, he's, he's only one on him, right? He only has one on him. And he's a threshold nine, so he's good. Agonizer. A six on his threshold eight, so he's good. All right. Remember, you cannot move this way or that way. So it's just catching the gladiator. So these beast handlers in the back are fine. Uh, the four in the back are fine. I think I'm getting that cap. Yeah. So the four in the back are fine. Um, Willbreaker looks like he's in. Is it over your base? Yep. Okay. So everybody except for those four dudes in the back. So cannot move this way. Cannot move that way. <laughs> Magnus's feet was super powerful in 2016 because you could like just win <laughs> on scenario by playing it correctly. Um, but that's gonna be a lot harder in 2017. Like it, you have to kind of, it, it still might have some power, but it's gonna be kind of like stronger late game when you already are close. Like if you're already you have, if you already have a lead, and then you want to like go up by three points or something like that, you can keep them out for two turns. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's tricky. It's just gonna, it's going to be a lot more challenging in general to win on scenario. I think. So. 
Alright, what's your plan for this turn, Kassim? Well, I don't think I can kill him. So, I'm just going to contest your zone and yep. try to do some damage over here. <clears throat> Seems good. Does, are, we, are we both at two? You're at one. I'm at one, you're at two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just told the guy that he's going to go fuck his stuff. Sorry? <laughs> Basically, just told the guy that he's going to fuck his stuff. Who? Uh, posted. Who has two hours to watch a bat at peak high speed with voiceovers? And it's uh, currently about 30 people. And this isn't, <laughs> this isn't a battle report, it's a live stream. Yeah, it's stream. a live stream. There's, there's Don't you know what a live stream is? Yeah. Uh, apparently, apparently not. And I mean, I got lots of time for that thing. I love watching games like on YouTube while I'm painting yeah. or something like that. What's, all, what the, what's the problem with that? I don't know. Just got time I mean, to if, you, if, if you don't want to watch it, no one's I don't, making I it. I don't care. He has a mouse. <laughs> you can click on someone else's videos. I'm fine with that. I mean, yeah. we're, just, we're just playing games, we're having not, fun. Yeah, we're, we're not putting it out there. I mean, if, if this is not what you want to watch, then please don't stay here. But it's time to post. You're trying to see if, if the base can get through? No, I'm just seeing if I can land there, but your net is. Like yeah, I mean yeah, I think there's also space there. Well, I just want to jump. I'm just oh, yeah, seeing for how far I can jump over. Sure. Jump. You can get there. To there. Yep. Which puts me within. The question is, is I forget how what the melee range is. I'm about half an inch. So if you go there. So I'll go with the fair ox. This guy is going to jump over to here. Okay. Like you're not getting your pounce. Oh, this guy got his pounce. Oh, wait. Well, it's not within half. Oops. Oh, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I could have jumped in like straighter. Uh, he's definitely not in half. Because he was in here. So I could have gone like. He was well, base to base with yeah, this he, guy. He was base to base with both those guys. Yeah. I think. Pretty sure he was base to both, both those guys. All these two? I think so. So he could have gone. Like uh, you're right, he did have the distance. Yeah. And I think I want to keep that He's one not over here table. anyway. Nice try, though. <laughs> I have the ox in my unit. <laughs> so he'll go like that. Okay. And this one. So that gets 12. We'll go. I didn't even activate the Renegade. <laughs> oh, were you going to do anything? No, no. Uh, I mean, I would have just attacked in melee this guy. Yeah. But uh, it, it's too late. Because uh, I wasn't able to unengage him. Actually, I'm, no, no, because you have two inch melee. Two inches. So pounce there, pounce there. That guy doesn't. So I still have this guy. Who will pounce? And I'll start with the guy on the objective auto hits. Yeah. Oh, 12. That's all 6. Uh, so, whatever you roll in the next one. Two, Two. points. Well, that That's is definitely not a dead objective. No, it's not. Uh, it did not start out well for you. He will lance that guy in the back. Okay. Hits with 9. Yep. Tough check. Oh, uh, actually, sorry, that's the UA. How, how much damage did you, did you roll? I don't know. Uh, so it's POW 12? Yes. So it's off one. That's enough. So he dies. Uh, this guy will do his pounce on him. If you don't know which one is the leader model. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have too many guys in it yet. Well, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's marked, you know, I'm borrowing it from him. I actually don't even know which one the leader model is. He might have already died, actually. Yeah, 
whatever. You have to promote somebody anyway. Yeah, so I'll promote this guy here. And uh, I'll, I'll use the officer model for it, but he's just the unit involved here. Who are you talking? Six, um, this okay. guy. Okay. But misses. Uh, yep. Lance on. This guy. Yep. Same guy. Uh, miss. Misses. This guy, he'll do his pounce on Warren. Seems good. Hits. Uh, 13. Yep. I think. My kids made it. Uh, he did. Who took the metal piece? My son. <laughs> Douche. Some okay. people like to watch the world burn. Uh, <laughs> He's like, I want that song. Armor 13. Armor 12. So, yeah. That's enough. Then I'll do my Lance. Yeah, I'll do my Lance. Yeah, I'll do my Lance. I'll do my Lance. On the Renegade. Six hits, a so defense 12. Armor 16, I think we said. Um, the Renegade? Yeah. Uh, well, he's engaged now, so he's armor 19. Armor 19, so. You're, you're 12? Armor 17 goes to 19, I rolled 22 total, so you are 3 damage to the 2. 3 to the 2. Okay. Nothing else. Um, he can just repo that to be honest. Okay. That's the move. Let's start off. He's damned, so I can't do anything. Uh, Xerxes is going to not go yet. Agonizer is just going to walk over to the cannon pass. Okay. And see minus two strength again. He does that. Supremacy redeem. Okay. Seems good. Wait, tactical supremacy. That gives he doesn't already have repo? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I got repo five. Yeah, I'm giving him repo three. Wait, I think <laughs> the CID game. I'm just CID I'm, some repo. He definitely has repo. I don't know how much it is. Is it three or five? Repo three. It's three. So wait, three do the Ferrex have five and he has three? Ferrex have three. Oh, okay, it's only three again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will give it to the gladiator then. Gladiator repo? Okay. Sounds good. Actually, he'll give it to himself. Okay. I had you in my melee range. Oh yeah, you have reach. I have reach. You have reach, yeah. So. But I'm out of your melee range, which means you can't get to me. Yes. Which is hilarious. Slam yourself. Oh wait. Quit slamming yourself. Quit slamming yourself. If I go there. So you're just going to get as far as you can away? Yeah. Okay. And he is going to get to... Like, no. 
operation. But this guy will walk to here. So you're just he will walk B to B. He will walk B to B. So they're just healing, I'm assuming? Yeah, a little healing. A little healing. Uh, Some sexual healing. And uh, this guy will just walk up over to here. Whoop Fury off him. Whoop Fury off his gladiator. And then these two will medicate. Yep. Yep. He will also whoop Fury off the gladiator. Okay. Let's make use of all that stuff. Might as well. Uh, heal three points. So no, four points. Yeah, three. three plus one. Cool. Uh, how is he looking anyway? So. He's pretty good. He has 23 boxes right now. Okay. So I'm ready now. Ready. Ready. Let's look for pounce. Ready will just pounce to here. Uh, pounce attack on that guy. That's eight. This is a bit 12. Uh, he will do Good his. Guy. One. Okay. And then he'll do his lance on the same guy. Hits. Yep. Tough check. I think so. Nope. And he will repo. This three straight. You have one inch melee. You're in it. Oh. oh. Savage. No, uh, they're all one inch. Double. I'll double check of the grenadiers because they're slightly different. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure they're all one inch. Oh no, no, the grenadiers are half, so you're fine. Sorry about that. Yep. The grenadiers are different. I just figured they're the same. I figured wrong. Sometimes More, you know. I figure wrong. That's me. Okay, so geez. I get another point. Okay, so scoring goes to three, and mercs mm -hmm. are still at one. So I'll get my focus back. I'll keep escort for one. I will upkeep Calamity, because that's a pretty good spell. Um, Magnus is on four. Now what I want to do. I would very much like to kill all of your fuckers. Oh yeah, power up. Okay. Alright, um, killing your fuckers. Step one. So he's still in melee. How to by Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in melee. Uh, for some reason, I thought Magus had repair, but I, I'm wrong about that. It'd probably be hard to get him base to base with. Uh, uh, no, I mean, I would just repair pull him back. back. I'd just pull him back. Um, anywho. So, uh, I only have eight minutes, so this isn't going well for me. Oh, just barely contested that. You'd have to get the whole unit in. You're right. That is, that is true. And I have nobody to do that. I mean, Madeline could run, I think, but... Yeah, that's okay. Um, but I should be able to score two or three this round. If I get fortunate. Two, maybe three, yeah. Yeah, two or three. Um, okay. Do I want to allocate? I don't really want Magnus up there doing his own stuff because that just seems bad. But I have nobody else to kill that fucker. Buccaneer is a piece of shit. Um, yep, I did one point of damage or he has one left? He has one left. Okay. He toughed. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so I could... I just need to roll a six to kill him. 
So I could use that one to boost the attack roll and try to make that happen. But that's just not great. Um, what else can I do? I think what I want to do is just load up some nomads for some face punching. <laughs> okay. Um, can not let him run there? Forty here and then eight more. Yeah, probably. We measure that carefully. Depending on whether or not some nomads are in the way. Um. All right. Um. The mangler is just going to walk away from that guy to get out of melee. Oh, three strikes. Five to hit, or three to hit, rather. Power eight? Yes. Oh, is it worse than that? Ah, uh, power eight. So, uh, oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's armor 19, so that's dice off 11, so that's still enough to kill him. <laughs> <Be> Sam, <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it, it was, it's a bit inc inconsequential, but I mean, it's still, it's, it's fun. I was thinking of charging him but that turn. I was like, nah. No, you should have. You should have. I should have. just going to roll that. Okay. Uh, so Aura's going to go aim first shot into the dude. Which turn? Yeah. Uh, so two. three hit. Hits him. Dead. And then second shot of the gladiator. Two snakes. Hits him. Three to five. Um, Buccaneer, boosting an attack roll into this guy, so you're a 15 or a 13? 13. 13, so needs an 8. That'll do it. Got 12, um, 6 to kill. 5. What's up, chip, bitch? Oh, did I, you I, I forgot to uh, activate him. So, sweet. Fuck that noise. He's actually facing this way, too. Yes. He's just moved because of the stupid damage. Um, okay. Let's see. I have three initial attacks, a 17, like a 14, and a 14, or six, a 17, a 14, and a 16. And how, how much points did you buy here on? He has 20. 20. Hmm, I only gave him one though, so I just get my initial attacks, that's not great. If I thought of this beforehand, then I would have uh, probably allocated him. But. Yeah, so you have 14, 13, 17. And you're 19, and, I, and actually I'm two less on all that because I'm, I can't avoid the identity. Um, whatever. Okay, so uh, this guy's gonna walk up to here, um, and he's going to boost his shield into this guy. It's 13. Uh, so I need a seven. I'll hit. Shield is pow 16. Uh, he's a nomad. Yeah. What is it? It's pow 14. So dice off three. Just roll it. Ooh, that's good. Tough check. Or no, it's just as. Boost the sword into the other guy. That'll hit. Just. Well, barely. Uh, and POW 18 is. Well, that's still a roll. Yep. Plus one. So that can go away now because they're no longer there. If he's within 10, then that's baller. Actually, I can just move him. He is not within 10. 
Uh, no, this one. Oh, that guy. Yeah. This guy's definitely in. Uh, it, but he, oh, maybe he is. Parallax is a thing. Um, yeah, he's just in. Okay, then, uh, then he'll aim. Mm -hmm. And he's going to fire his obliterator rocket. Um, so he aims up to an 8, hitting your 10. Uh, yep. So knock down AoE 5. AoE 4. Oh, is it only 4? Yep. Oh, okay. I th maybe it used to be a 5. Oh, but just those two. two. So uh, it's knocked down PAL 14, boosting on the Gladiator. PAL 16. No. Is it yeah, 16? PAL 16. Okay. Yeah. I don't know any of my rules around. Um, so off three. Off three. <laughs> <laughs> to wow! Line. Three ones and a two. That's a good roll. You can go to hell with dice. Um, so that's 1.1. Uh, one. One. Yep. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, and then blast damage is PAL 8 on the Beast Hammer. Five to kill. So the back one. Nope. And the side one. All righty then. Uh, Magnus is going to go. Not yet. Madeline is going to run. You can run through the objective. Oh, you can. Sweet. Even better. So then that's like seven to get to here. And then she has five more easily getting her into the zone. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> I'm blocking my own charge line. Um, can I just hold back on that? Do you mind? I, I need to do something else first. Trenchers first. Um, they are going to uh, do a run charge order. Um, so he's the leader. Is there any of them out? He's out. That's it. So this guy is out of command. Uh, everyone else is cool. So, uh, run charge order. This guy's gonna charge to here. This guy's gonna charge to here. He will charge. I wanna see if I can get him within melee of the, the dude. Without taking a free strike, looks like no. So he'll just charge uh, redeem. Like that. Uh, this guy. Run. He will charge redeem. He will charge. Can I see your sentry? Uh, there's a little. Uh, Yes. So these two guys, I think, can see him. So they're going to just do. Oh, actually, wait. The movement is the thing, though. So an inch to get to the forest. And they have uh, seven more, so three and a half. So that should be enough. Yep. And then this guy, same deal. Uh, it's not quite the same deal. Two to get to the forest. He has six left, so three inches left. Uh, and he looks like a giant. Yeah, because he can see three inches. Yeah. And then this guy will just run. Oh, and this guy has to run and then just into here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, Will Breaker, um, a 6, needing a 7. You're a 13, or? Yep. It hits. How is 11 on charge? Uh, minus 2 from the agony. Uh, yeah, sorry. so back down to 9. So, dice off 4. Uh, so that is 2 points. Okay. Oh, sorry, uh, no, it's 5 points. Six, six oh, charge, yeah. yeah. It's not a column die, it's a... <laughs> okay. Well, bigger um, beasts. Yeah. This guy into redeem. Uh, he's a 13, 14? 13. 13, so he needs a 6. Uh, I clocked. Oh, well. It's all good. Play uh, yeah, I might as well play that. So, uh, effective 9 on your, on your 17. Uh, redeem is 17. Yeah. Um, so that's off 6, which is 8 points. He still has 2? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have assault shots. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to bother. Uh, Grenadier on the is going to miss. Dodge. I got dodge. Seems good. Um, and that guy is uh, probably out now. Yeah. Hit two on sentry. So is it set defense system too? Yeah, we only goes up to like a 13. Okay, so uh, it's, it's 60 hit. Hits him. Goes up to a 12, yeah. Okay, and I'm effective 9 on your 21. Mm -hmm. So off... Uh, Nine on twenty-one, and he doesn't have set defense. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is uh, nothing. In there. That's eleven plus nine is twenty. Yeah. yeah. So it's off. It's off twelve. And second one hits off twelve. Oh. Didn't expect anything from it. 
Um, this guy's gonna go and charge. So he can charge up to ten. So. And uh, Matt six with the charging with the uh, sword. Sword. Uh, eight All plus right. six is going to hit a fourteen. Yep. So pal eighteen is plus one. I think he's died. Or uh, dismount. Yeah. Dismount. Let's see. He can be this guy. Okay, and then uh, buckler. Uh, seven will hit. Buckler still in range. It's one inch. I'll, I'll check that. I think it's one inch. It is. Yep. So it's now fourteen. What's your armor? Uh, fifteen. Plus one. It's dead. And then Magnus is gonna go cast calamity through this guy under the gladiator. Um, see you later. Hits it. So. Where the token go? Him, and then this guy's gonna charge for one. We measure that, right? Yep, he's within ten. Um, yeah, so it's like he moves ten, right? Or no, moves nine. Uh, speed, speed five, five seven, five. moves ten. Yeah. Yep. So he'll get um, right up in there. Uh, so assault shot. No, does he have assault? I don't remember now. Uh, nope. Uh, just. Point blank. He has so point blank. He'll yeah. charge. Um, PS 13 on 19 size plus 6. So he'll charge with the buckler. That'll hit. And it's PS 13 on your 19. I'm just canceling Calamity with the Agonizer. Agonizer, yep. Uh, so dice off 6. It's 5 to 1. Tip of 1. See you there. Let's see yep. ya. Uh, okay, then initial with the big axe. It's going to hit. 17 on your 19 is off the 2. Mm -hmm. It's 3 to the 6. And then the gun hits, and it's pal 14. Now, this is negative strength, right? So yep. this is still pal 14 on your armor 17. So it's dice off 3. Yep. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Um, so that's that. Uh, Oh, and then Madeline runs to where I wanted her to run to, and I would score three points. Yep. But that's still, I mean, that battle only puts me in even to you, right? Or in one over? I was down by uh, two, right? Um, it would put you one over, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll might as well mark it. Even though, I mean, the game's over for anyone watching. I clocked out, in case you couldn't tell by that big red zero sign. Um, do you want to keep playing, or is it... Well, I think you just get assassinated now. Um... Explain how. I mean, I don't, I don't think you're wrong. Well, I would lurch the sentry forward. Okay. And then... Well, actually, Xerxes could probably just clear these guys off of him, but... Anyway, he'd get lurched forward. He can see Magnus, because we know there's three inches there. Yep. Yeah. And then rush. And then he either tramples or charges over to him. He can charge. Oh, well, uh, sorry, yeah. You would have, you'd have to trample over this guy unless you can deal with him. Yeah. Like, Xerxes could walk in there. So let's uh, let's play it up then. If it's if it if it might end the game, then let's just see what happens because I'm curious. Uh, so let's see here. We'd reeve, reeve, back up the pull. Defender's ward isn't in play. I'll attack supremacy draw. So let's just start with the Xerxes. This guy needs to come back. He is going to go to here. He will swing at that guy. This one. Hit. Mad 8. 7 will hit 15. Mm -hmm. Pow 14. Tough check. Uh, yeah. That could wreck your day too. Just a tough check, right? It's tough. And then second initial auto hit stick. And dead, yeah. Okay. Um, what do I do? So I'll just cast Rush from the Xerxes on. Sure, yeah. Might as well. And then I'll spend 3 for Lurch on. Yeah, him. that makes sense because then you won't have to pay the penalty for the Lurch. Well, no. I think. Actually, well, because if you lurched him with Xerxes him. before he had Rush on him, then he wouldn't have Pathfinder. And Pathfinder. Okay, so it's just the movement that I want to get during out of activation. Yeah, so, so that's. 
Oh, because I just think because movement, you don't get out of activation. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives me movement, Pathfinder. You know, but it gives you Pathfinder, which yeah. still is a benefit for you. Um, you are, you sh are you sure you can brave that free strike from that trencher? Oh, no. <laughs> so, free strike. Okay. So, you can roll that. Oh, <laughs> I was joking about it. But anyway, Never know. It goes up to eight, it'll hit. Pound nine is uh, dice off uh, ten. Oh, ten. Which is nothing. nothing. Yeah. I, mean, I could have rolled up to eight points of damage. With yeah. Maximum, which is that even possible with cripple column? No. Yeah. Not okay. So. Nothing. So what happens? I pop my feet. Cause why not? Oh yes, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that I ate, that it was actually not that great of an assassination run, but with the feet, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like yeah. Bam! I do this. Free charge. Free rage. charge. And then. I wouldn't be able to get enraged because I think I would have had to. I guess Xerxes could have put Pathfinder on him, whatever. And um, I guess. so he just charges up there. He's a mat six. Boosts. Oh, so Magnus. Magnus is. Magnus is Magnus. I think 15, but 13 will hit him. Uh, 13 on the dice, yeah. He's a 14. 14. He's 14, 19 with escort. So he's at armor 19, I'm a pal, what's that put in? Uh, 18, super weapon master. <laughs> Seems good. Okay. So off one. And take that away. And <laughs> he he so, he yeah. He's got uh, uh, 17 total, so 9 left. Boost my uh, tusks. Okay. Hits. Yep. There's the tusks are uh, 17. That's and two. that's enough of me. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Magnus could have been here as well. Yeah. Or like here, or <laughs> like he could have been anywhere. Somewhere. So th that was a, a definitely like a major derv. I mean, the, the game is already over, so I don't really care a whole lot. But, um, but yeah, uh, definitely, uh, Magnus should not have been left there uh, without the feet up. <laughs> that's for sure. No. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it was an interesting game. Um, I feel like attritional eyes this list actually did remarkably well. Yours? Yeah, it did pretty good. I um, mean, like as soon as although the, although I didn't, I never saw your feet, right? So part of it was that the turn I think that you really wanted to feet, I put my feet up and you you couldn't do anything. Yeah, and that was pretty ball busting. Uh, you feet this turn though, and even if Magnus isn't here, I think that the sentry still kills this guy trivially. He kills him trivially, and then. Patricians back like even kind of yeah because well let's and then and then because he'll be armor what 25 under the agonizer for the next turn because he'll be he'll, something will be base to base with him if agonizer will be up and so he'll be the armor of 25 yeah it'd be tough for me to get something base to base well. agonizer <laughs> although if, if he's there i'll kill him first kind of thing but yeah still it's a thing uh... and actually the trenchers might just kill him yeah, Possible. the trenches probably could. They, play, they probably could, like, pow, pow nines. And they have the pow 11 guns as well. If they're not already in melee, they can assault. Uh, something I didn't use this game at all, but might have been actually better than what I did a lot of the time. Assaults. Yeah, and assault shots. Well, assaults might have been tough with the engagings. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, like, if you miss, then you scatter your own dudes and kill them kind of thing. I, uh, assault is such a broken rule in the game right now, I'm really not a fan of it. Um, it's only good on things that have electric, uh, electrical damage and de electrical immunity. So, like, <laughs> it's, it's just really stupid that they give assault, like, functional assault to one unit, and then non-functional assault to, like, everybody, everybody else. else. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of that French press for listening. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, Nick List on Clock. Say what? Oh, I'm a lost of lost. Yeah, yeah. Well, the scenario on this one was... So, we, we were both kind of just tr trying to score opportunity points on our own zone, on our own square zone, um, and then uh, I was trying to score points on the two side zones with my solos and units and stuff. Um, but that was pretty much it. I mean, I, I scored um, a couple points in, in my far zone. 
Yeah, and just using Kel just to kind of camp there and just pick stuff off the cave nearby. Yeah. Uh, turn, turn after turn, which is, I mean, that's what happens. That's what he does. He's amazing for that. And he did a ton of work. Just like, just taking six points out of your beasts every turn was like so key. <laughs> Especially with that agonizer there, meaning that it's going to be a lot harder for me to actually kill your beasts in melee. Um, having him just kind of pick off six damage, like just for free every turn, was fucking awesome. So it's definitely a good ability. Yeah, it's super good. Hey, like, I, I like my list. I th the only mistake here. There's a few mistakes, but the big I mean, mistake was okay. Tiberian. The, yeah, it was. Uh, he, he should not have been that far forward. He should have been an inch back and then perfectly safe. Uh, and then the game goes a lot differently, actually. Yeah, because like my plan was, um, I forget where he was, but I was going to lurch him forward, rush, and all yeah. of a sudden he's... And then he'll get to like here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like on your caster. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, you know? Um, the scenario, so more thoughts on the scenario though, like how do you feel about the viability of it? Did you feel like either of us was ever going to win on scenario in this game? Uh, it was going to be tough, like I made a little mistake, I deployed my Ferox here because I thought your trenchers were deployed over there. Oh no, they <laughs> I forgot they were AD. <laughs> but yeah. like for me, the only way I was going to get these was with uh, Ferox here and Beast Handlers or Redeem over here. Sure. Or even the Worldbreaker. Yep. But I was kind of planning on, that's why Tiberian was here, was going to kind of flank up here, Ferrex going to flank up there. Yeah, yeah. And then the only real problem is, my list was a little light on warrior models, which yeah, yeah. kind of same with yours. Uh, yeah, very much so. I only had the trenchers and then two solos. Actually, did they remove the 50%? Yeah, they did. Thing? Yeah. Which is kind of so nice. So you can still control a zone with one dude from a unit. I think that's a really good change. Yeah. Um, I think that it like, basically should have always been like that. It was really, it was really a dumb rule. Yeah. It, especially because like it affected min and max units differently. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if you wanted to do like make it so that you have to have at least say three dudes or something like that. But like, I don't know. Like it, it's just like, such a weird mechanic that like different units of different sizes can contest with and control with different numbers of dudes. It never made sense. It was always a stupid rule from the very beginning. So I'm very glad that's gone. Yeah. Because I mean, like your unit right now, like. It could lose seven dudes before it was useless. You could kill everyone here, and then I would control this yeah. <laughs> because of you. you know? yeah, or even you could just take free strikes from whatever is engaging them. Hope they all die. Yeah, yeah. And just, just that I could control the zone. Just so, you can control so the it, zone. it's definitely exploitable, I guess. Yeah. Like, like there are things that are exploitable, but I just think that the rule as it was made no sense. It was just stupid. Yeah, like I mean, min unit beast handlers, you lose two models and it's done. Yeah, can't contest it. You're you could use the seven models. And then you hit the, well, I guess eight models, then you're below 50. Yeah, yeah. 14 dudes is a ton for a unit. Yeah. There's so many dudes. Well, it's like, you're just, it's like, what yeah. do I hit? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a command attachment and then two weapon attachments. So, it's huge. Um, what do you think of a Magnus list? I feel like it's, I, I'm not sure I like it in the theme. I'm not sure the trenchers are worth not having, like, the solos that I like. The, uh, like, solos, like... Um, things like Ragman or Ion and Hold. Like, I would trade Trenchers, I think, for Ion and Hold. I'm, I'm not sure that it's worth it. We have Calamity with them. I mean, yeah, Calamity's good, but Calamity, Ragman, and Ion Hold is better. <laughs> <laughs> Just depends on what you want. I'm, like I'm not sure if I like Magnus 2 in the tier, uh, in the theme. If anyone has any thoughts on Magnus 2 playing in theme or out of theme, uh, let us know. Um, like I'm really curious to see what people think about him because uh, I'm, I'm just kind of I'm still kind of new to Magnus I've only played him a couple times so uh, but he's I think he's a really strong caster I think his feet is still really amazing uh, it's it's amazing just as a kind of like a, a denial tool and as like a, an attrition tool because I can kind of like move up forward pop the feet in a really weird way that you can't get to me and uh, and and then I'm in your face and it's like fuck do I back up you know like <laughs> it, it can be really and actually I can make it so you can't even back up I could choose, I could choose the, like my, my edge and your edge, and make it so you can only move side to side, side, to side, which means you can't back up, and you can't come forward. So like, there's a lot of really ball busting things you can do with Magnus's feet. But I mean, for any of them to work, Magnus has to be right up there because it's it's enemy models in his in his feet in his control range, right? So well, it could be really tough with Steamroller 2017 with all these zones. Like, let's say you go here, all of a sudden you're controlling like three zones. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, and Magnus himself can do two. Yeah. Like he, well, that I mean, his feet's controlling like three zones. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, and it, it's totally screwing over to like three different zones, um, where like I can just be like, no, you can't move this way or that way, and it's really, yeah, it's a ball, it's ball busting. Well, you could even like, 
if you went here. Yeah. Like, you are literally screwed yeah. with this. And, and like, and not, and, unless you had models to the side, you can't you can't get to me. Like, yeah. there's just no way. It's, uh, Especially it's with Madeline Corbeau. Uh, and then, yeah, you add her to the equation, and now, oh, yeah, no warriors can attack me. Only beasts. Because that's what I was thinking. <laughs> if, if this guy survived a tough check, which I forgot to put on them, uh -huh. he's just going to pounce in your back arc. Yeah, but he couldn't do that. Because Madeline was yeah, there no on that turn. Yeah. And, well, and, they, and his attacks still, they still require targeting. You can't target her or him. Yeah. So, like, the the turn that you had your feet, I was going to jump in the back. But yeah. I oh, but, but I was parlayed. But I was parlayed. Parlayed, yeah. yeah. So that's why I just did what I did there. You know, it's funny. I was like, when I did it, I was like, I'll parlay for whatever. Because I actually totally forgot about the whole leaping thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't forget about it. No, because I knew. Because he, he was in melee. So, yeah, I did that intentionally. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, it, it's fun. Yeah, but, uh, Mat Matlin is pretty cool. She works really well with his feet to keep Magnus safe if you put him in a really fucked up place. The only other thing that I, I would like... I, I, so the reason why the tier list makes it better is because you can put Magnus in some, somewhere really fucked up and then you can use a Buccaneer to knock him down and now you can't shoot him either. <laughs> and so you have Madeline Corbeau here make, saying no no, uh, no, melee, no melee for warrior models and then you have a, a Buccaneer knocking him down so that he's... Uh, so that he's immune to shooting. <laughs> yeah, he's like completely. And, and so the, the only thing, the only thing that can get him is a war beast in a war, a war jack or a war beast in melee. Unless you miss the net attack, <laughs> oh, or a battle engine. Um, unless you miss the net attack, that's true. Uh, you definitely want to boost that. And if Matt five uh, in the back arc, you still need an eight, I think. Seven. He's defense fourteen. So fourteen. So twelve in the back. Eight. So you need a seven. Yeah. You still need a, a boosted seven in the back, and that can fail. And if if, if that fails, you you can have a bad time in, in the happen. wrong matchup for sure. Um, so, I mean, it's not exactly a foolproof method. I mean, and, it's, and some people actually will take two Buccaneers with them to have a second chance at it. Um, second chance. But uh, it's pretty good. It was way better when you could throw them because you just have Magnus pop his feet, Galleon throws him on the table. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> and you win on scenario. That was, uh, that was steamroll to 16, though. It doesn't work. It won't work. It won't work on this. Unless one. you're already up by four, which means that you're already kind of winning anyway. So, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I feel like the scenarios are almost never going to... End the game prematurely. I, I feel like they're it, they're often going to come up in the in tie breaking. The yeah, because the only real way I'm going to win by scenario, let's say, is if I'm up by let's say two points and I get these and your objective. Yeah. You have to have like a two or three point lead on your opponent to y yeah, give yourself a you chance. Have to, well, yeah, you have to score all four zones <laughs> and the objective to get five points to get go, five to points go to plus turn. seven, right? It's plus seven or plus six? Plus six. Okay, that's... So if I had a one-point lead, yeah. I'd have to get all of that. Yeah. And that's right. I mean, like, so I did three my last turn, and I wasn't going to get your objective, but, uh, yeah, it was it was rough. It was rough. I don't know. It's, uh, I, I, I think that uh, scenarios ending the game prematurely is probably over, at least in pretty extreme circumstances, like when you already lost the game by attrition anyway. Yeah. Um, so I don't like that actually. I, I, I don't. I, I, I prefer the kind of clever game that you can play in some situations to pull out a win on scenario uh, when all hope is lost. <laughs> and 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 that that's kind of taking away. That, that, I think that's taking away from the game. Um, I, I don't know. This is still very preliminary thoughts. So this might change completely once I played a bunch of games. Yeah. But uh, what it seems to me that um, kind of War Machine. The, the fun part of War Machine is the fact that you're never really. It's never really over until it's over because you always have that last ditch assassination or last ditch scenario push that sometimes can just win you the game at the last minute like that. Um, and this kind of takes away that last minute scenario push because if you're already losing on attrition, then you're not going to score seven points to, to win the, the scenario. It's never going to happen. So the only the only long bombs that exist now are going to be assassination runs. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a thing. Well, I think maybe the zones all being no neutral was a mistake. They should be friendly. Your caster can only get one on this, but any other zone you can get two. And That's an idea. Just yeah. to balance it, you can choose. You have to choose which one you want to control. But right now he can actually control both, right? Yeah, because right now I could control yeah. both, like get one but point each. You can still only control it once. So, like yeah. you, like you can't have a solo in there and then your caster and score twice. No, but if he were to get two points here, you'd have to say that you have to choose between the zones. Yeah. So people aren't going to take advantage of that. Well, I mean, that just means that people aren't going to use their casters to score, though, which I think isn't isn't a positive thing. I, I like I like the impetus to to risk your caster. Like there should be a benefit risk a risk reward thing. Like yeah. you should you should have the you should get a benefit from risking your caster because it's risky. 
Well, I think like if you were to get two points on this zone for dominating, it just kind of balances it out. I, I just feel like the caster should give like an additional point above yeah. what you're getting already. So if yeah. you're controlling already with something else and then your caster goes in there as well, then he should count again. Yeah. I think that would make sense. Just because it, it's it's giving you more um, you know, more motivation to actually put your caster in a risky position. Yeah, and then like um, we... Although in this scenario it's not actually that risky. <laughs> no. Um but the standoff. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I feel like I feel I agree with you. I feel like this scenario should be a friendly zone and an enemy zone that you can't actually control this one. That seems pretty lame. And, and it's possible we actually read it wrong or that it's an, a misprint. Um, but uh, it definitely seems like this is just kind of a lame scenario when you're just sitting back here scoring points every turn. Yeah. And there's no real incentive to put your caster over here. Um, yeah, I mean, unless you just don't have any warrior models. If you play a jack brick, you can put your caster here to just, this is the only way to score the zone. <laughs> but that's like the only reason. That's, that's it. Yeah. I mean, if you're running a jack brick, the most points you're going to score is three points on a turn. Yes. Yeah. The, yep. the objective on one. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I, I'm very much uh, on the fence about this whole thing so far. I mean, the scenarios certainly look interesting and new, and it I'm looks excited fun. to try them. But uh, it's the whole winning by six thing. Maybe that's too much. Maybe like five. Five might better. be a sweeter spot. Or even just like if it's just, if you're just winning by an amount, like remember, like your opponent's gonna score points at the same time. So like, you know, a five is probably as low as they can go. Yeah. Well, I think they said six because you can score five on a turn. Uh, that's true. Yeah. So probably yeah, five five um, because you can score so many things in a turn. It is like it, it would just not be reasonable for it to be five. Because um, the point of the they objectives don't have here, anyway, to... like just drop the objectives, <laughs> um, and then you could say five, or or just say you can't score the friendly zone. I think that's a, that's yeah. even better. No scoring the friendly zone would fix this scenario. I, think. I mean, assuming it's broken, yeah. I think it's I, I think that it's that it's pretty lame. I think it's a bit of a lame scenario. Yeah, uh, like it, it feels really lame to to run your whole army up and just score this zone. That seems pretty stupid. Yeah, like the balancing factor is the other person's doing it too. So uh, I mean, they they certainly can. Yeah, they have the ability to. It's not causing like a spread in points, but yeah, you're causing like a just a constant roll up. Yeah, so it's, it's it's I don't know, I'm not I'm not crazy about it, but uh, <laughs> oh man, did uh, did Daryl diss Muns? What did Daryl say? Uh, to two bands says the caster control should stack with the rest of the army. I agree with that. Yeah. Two Manglers, Renegade, Gallant, Eris One, Versh, Kel, Orin, Adrian's. You know, that sounds like a way better Magnus list than the one I ran today. That sounds way better. Gallant with a, with a Bolt Dodger is like insane. He's defense 13 normally, 15 with Bolt Dodger. Defense 15 Jack, that's armor 21 all the time, is pretty ridiculous. Um, Just dodging everyone. Yeah, because he got a buckler. So he's a uh, buckler plus a million is ridiculous. Um, yeah, anyway. But having the. The scenario is going to change a bit if the caster scores an extra point. Because in this case, you score four points there. Yeah. And then right. if you score the destruction of the objective and another zone, that's six points. Yeah, but that's still two turns worth of stuff. Like, <laughs> it's just. It, I mean, you can do that all in one turn. What? So if my caster's here, I'm getting an extra point for here, extra point for here. That's, okay. that's four points. Then and if extra, I were to. What do you mean, extra point? For if the war caster gave an extra point on top of oh oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah for sure uh, that would be so maybe that's broken <laughs> um, but it see, still seems pretty cool yeah um, it's like we're just breaking the game breaking it but definitely I think something needs because this is like um, what was the other one in SR twenty sixteen uh, line breaker sorry line breaker yeah line breaker yeah yeah. This is, this is kind of like line breaker. Except that in line breaker, you couldn't score your near flags, yeah. which I, th I feel like I feel like we're missing something, and that you actually can't score that zone or something. No, it's like the thing says the zones are neutral. It does say that. Yeah. It's that's legit. I wonder if it's a misprint. Anyway, um, I guess we'll find out. Maybe they'll release uh, some kind of um, update on it or something. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We are done for the night. Um, um, tune in next week. We'll probably be doing more Steamroller 2017 stuff because it's pretty fun to test new stuff. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching and have a good week.